Right, we're rolling again. On board with Chris. Out here is the lake, you can see. Board set up, ready to go. It's been raining, it's been snowing. But today, we're gonna throw on the Caps Creek jig, paired up with the Deep Creek bug on the back end. Lots of people ask, what do you fish with? Are you trying to really worry about what it looks like? Obviously, this thing can look like a crawdad swimming along the bottom. We're looking for pre-spawn fish. Those fish will eat anything. This could be a bluegill, a wounded bluegill as it swims down the bottom, beating against the rock. So we're gonna throw that. We got chatter baits, we got some different worms. Uh, pretty much using anything just to see if we can find some fish out here. Weatherman says I got about 30 minutes before the rain's coming back. So sun's peeking through some clouds, rain's on its way. We're gonna go point of view today and show you just what it looks like from my perspective, fishing on the stand-up paddle. Hopefully we can go find some fish. So this section of the lake I'm fishing in is only about four feet deep. I made a couple videos earlier that showed this water inlet. What it is is in the summertime, the water gets you know, 75, 80 degrees in this lake. And they buy local crystal clear river water. And that water inlet over there, hard to see. The fish stage right up against it on the inlet. The water's nice and cool. It's oxygenated bringing in a bunch of food. And the fish congregate there at times during the summer. And you can head over there and find so many bass. So today we're gonna see if anybody's made their way over there yet. Probably not, but we'll throw this chatter bait, a little swim tail behind it, and see if we can find somebody nosing up into that incoming water. Well, if people don't realize, even in a lake like this, you'll have some eddy lines. If you know what eddies are, it's where the water current goes by and actually curls back. And so as the water enters the lake, it spirals out on each side. And the fish don't sit always right in the current. They sit right inside that eddy and they pull their food. As they dart out into the current, they'll grab their food and then move back in the eddy to rest. The paddle board is so unique to be so quiet and stealthy and work right up the shoreline and pull it back towards the middle the natural way that animals would be entering into the food chain out here. I don't like this guy. On cue. Come here, buddy. That's what we're talking about right there. On cue, on camera, the way you like it. Working the water line, coming across the eddy. Calves Creek, doing its job. Bam, fish on. If there's one fish, there's probably five fish. And I get asked time to time, what do you do? set the hook what's your procedure when you're fishing a jig like this As you see there's no big weed guard up here deflecting the fish's mouth from that hook getting set right on its lip so super sharp point kind of anodized dark and you can see the point is super bright with silver it probably doesn't show up on the screen here but always make sure those hooks are bright and sharp that way when a fish grabs it all you really got to do is a couple extra cranks and you're going to set it you can you can bend the pull back do whatever you want to do but uh, realistically, that fish grabs this thing. You put that extra pressure, that hook tip is going right into that fish and you're bringing it home. As they hold their position, they wait for the food to actually come to them. So as I fish this, I kind of fish it like the hands of a clock because some fish will be 10 feet from the shoreline, some will be 15 feet, and they'll kind of hold their position. If they see the bait, they'll move out towards it. But really, they spend most of their day sitting there eating and they're pretty good at eating. And so a lot of times you got to present the bait in the right spot. So as I mentioned, about 30 minutes before the rain's coming, looks like 
might be here a little early, so I'm gonna paddle over to one other spot, see if we can find a fish before my feet go numb. And uh, call it a day. There's that rain I was talking about. Weatherman was on point. I think it was like 28 minutes <laughs> we've got rain and it actually has some snowflakes. All right, we're not stopping just yet. Looks like we found one more. This time working a worm on the bottom. Hooked up to that buoy like I was talking about. Found a nice one. He's not happy about this. Get this tank in here. Two for two out here today, fishing in the snow. That's a wrap, two fish. Rain's coming, it's here. I'm freezing, I'm going home. We're gonna set this guy free, back with his friends, pre-spawn. I think it's on. Fishing's starting to happen, so. See this guy off. Have a nice day, buddy. He was feisty. Peace out. Yeah, that's what we like. And to think, my wife said no, she didn't want to go fishing today. Well, who doesn't want to fish when it's hailing and snowing and freezing cold and you have ice on your pants and you don't have shoes on? Hmm. We won't talk about who's smarter in our family. Let's keep this between us. Out of the water, freezing cold, hailing, raining, snowing. You shouldn't have probably been out there. Sometimes those are the best days to be out on the water. Got a couple bass, found one at the water inlet. Love that spot, so fun. I got three water inlets on this lake that I fish. One of my favorite things to do. In the summertime, you actually get to see them sitting there, spot fishing the fish. Tons of fun, but right now, I need to go by the fire and get warmed up. Thanks for watching. So I come home to enjoy my nice warm fire and this is what I find. This guy hogging the front of the fireplace. This is my son Caden. Mentioned I have six kids. We'll start introducing them one by one. But Caden here, he likes to fish, but not as much as he likes to skateboard. How did that work out for you? I know I went out to go fishing the same time you went out to go skateboarding today. How was it skating in the snow? Uh, it wasn't It wasn't too good. <laughs> not too good, huh? How did it work on the ramps? You keep the ramps out there? No, I put them away. It's a little slippery. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, Kate and I, we do some man ventures. We like to go surfing. We like to snowboard. We like to skate. And today, uh, I guess it was a bad day for skating, right? Yeah, I got skunked. Got skunked. Well, guess what? I caught two fish, fished in the snow, and now we're back by the fire. So, mind if I tuck in there with you? Yeah, get in here. All right. So, we're going to maybe head out to the snow and actually go snowboarding. But uh, for now, it's all about warming up by the fire. Oh, I can feel my feet again. Nice.